Hi guys, welcome back to Power Plant. Today is another episode. I hope you enjoyed the last one, but today I need to reinstall all the brass protection around the board. You can see in the video all the work I did to clean it, to polish it, and now to reinstall it because I need to finish this task. Okay guys, one next work is take out all brass protection. I already take out this brass protection. It is completely clean. Now it's time to go in this side and take out and clean this uh, uh, brass protection. Screw our bolts. Some, some screw are stuck. So you need to use some VD40. You need to use some tape to avoid that the brass fall down and broken. It's quite ruined all the brass. So I need to take out, there are two long lines, but it's very delicate here because there is not too much thick. Is bent, you broken. I can't permit me to broke this uh, piece of uh, stuff because it's impossible to find new one. You can see here, you can see the gel coat. Some are ruined, some other not. You need to pay attention to take out this one. And after that, we take out all the other one. So we got, you see how long is the stuff. Also in this case, I use the acid that helped me to take out all the calcareous deposit on the brass and also clean very deep all the sheet of brass that was there for 30 years. So you can see it now is more red and after that I need to wash and shine. The color is quite red now, but become yellow after the sanding, you can see you need to use some acid. After that, I rinse with water. And here we are, another moment of glorious, glorious sanding. In this case, I use 320 grit sand paper. And after that, I will use a wet 600 grit sandpaper before start to polish them. There are some imperfections that I need to repair and fix, so uh, I need to pay a lot of attention and make the best work I can do. Okay, it's time to rinse all the brass and all the dirty. You can see it's brown water. After that, I will move the brass in the other piece of uh, wood. I will use some screw and fix those brass strip and start to polish. But before polish, you can see, it start to get the original color. I need to sand with 600 grit wet sandpaper. Okay, and now we move the other side. It's time to fix with the screw all those uh, brass lines and after that I will start to polish them. 
I need that those brass need to stay very fixed because something happen with uh, the machine you can destroy those uh, brass uh, protection The dust that is released from this operation is very toxic, therefore absolutely you need to wear a mask. The time has come to polish the brass. For this operation I use the flexible and the felt disc and wax past of two types one for rolling and the other one for polishing. As you can see, it's not a five minutes operation. It takes me about two days to complete all those operations. And on the other hand, if you want something beautiful, we absolutely have to work very hard. And now it's time to use some polish. I put all the polish on the brass and after that I start again with uh, the flexible or grinder to start again to polish. And job done. And those guys are the polish brass protection with the box with all the screw original one completely clean with acid and ready to go and now I need to take out all the nylon and install there the protection you can see here the holes and the cracks on the gel coat like this one you can see the cracks uh, the brass protection went immediately installed without countersink the holes, so the jacket crack. I have many cracks, but mainly in good condition. I save some holes, I save some holes because the cracks break all the jacket around here. I'll show you in a moment. You can see here, I completely close with jacket the hole because there was a lot of cracks also here. You can see the cracks was just in the line of the brass protection. You don't see the cracks, but the water could penetrate and go inside. So I completely fix this uh, hole with gel coat. You can see here the cracks. And I will start to polish now because I already, already sand all the gel coat and start again to install the brass protection. I fixed this problem with gel coat, so a lot to do today, and we start. Wet sandpaper 600, and after that 1200. Okay guys, the time has arrived to install the brass protection all around the board. I get the help from this piece of rope of the desired length. I will pass through very long brass and very careful, I will start to screw it on the side of the board. So guys, perfectly finished and very, very uh, shine. All my line just around the board, you can see. I'm just finished to polish it and need to use some wax and after that I finish and the result of uh, the brass is astonished very very gold and I like very well looking this is the result after three four days of shine and polish on the 
same on the other side on the starboard part of the board you can see all perfectly clean polished shine gold take a lot of effort to do but it's very very nice I already polished all the back of the board the only things I need is the wax and after that we can say that the job is done the board will be ready to splash until May and here we are make my base for support the plotter I use five layers of five millimeter thick burmatic glue it together with epoxy now Michele is helping me to cut in, a, in the exact length exact inclination the support to get the exact inclination Michele used this trick a small piece of uh, Corian and we get the exact uh, inclination of the thick support. I have two, one thick and one uh, less thick, but I can check which is the best suit my needs. And Franco now is cutting me the template of the plotter. I will use a BNG Vulcan 9 inch uh, size of the screen so I won't check if my support could be used with the new stuff I bought to take the GPS uh, completely fixed and orientable in the direction I will need. You will see in a moment what I did. But first I will use the router to make a very nice and smooth uh, uh, finish of the support of my plotter. The time has arrived to test the new machine that Franco uh, of TopTech both a 5-axis electronic cutter to do the work also in 3D. So my inclinated piece of tick can be worked without any problem and the groove will be made to insert the support made from ScanStrut. You will see in a moment. You can see here the track of the milling machine that we'll do to take out all the excess of uh, tick. The cutter also makes two holes, 8 mm, where this piece of uh, tick will be bolt on the deck. At the same time, I will cover those two holes with 8 mm tick plug. To maintain this piece of tick in position, there is a vacuum system, so the rubber black gasket you see on the table, metal table, need to this task. Take about 1 minute 24 seconds to do all the job. Perfect job as normal. <laughs> you can see it's very, very nice system. Just brand new. It's about one week and we test with my piece of tick. And this is my piece, the Scanstrut MIDI that support my plotter. I think it is very, very sturdy, very nice. Okay, this is the support, and this is the BNG Vulcan 9. So it will be like there, all my GPS. And with this type of stuff, I can rotate in any position I want. 
So now I need only to fix the base. See, I will use two thick plug here, some glue, and after that, the job is done. So we start now. So guys, the previous owner make these four holes. You can see there. It was the original support of GPS. Now I need to cover those holes with two new ones and make the base for the new GPS support. My modus operandi in the boat is always preserve the integrity of the hull. So I try anytime to make as small holes that I can. Uh, if I need to make a hole, I think about three times to do because when you make a mistake, you ruin your uh, board. So in this case, the previous owner make four holes to fix a very small piece of stick that need only two at the end. For this reason, I was forced to install there the new piece of stick. I would have done differently, but repairing the four holes would have been too difficult and the work would be not have to come as I like normally. Perfect. And as normal, remember always to countersink the holes. Uh, to avoid the gel coat cracks. I hate the gel coat cracks because after that it's very difficult to repair. So I always countersink any holes in the gel coat. Remember to do it and uh, you don't make a mistake. Those are the screw and now we start to screw them to test it. Seems work very well. Now it's time to take out the bolts because I need to prepare the glue and everything just below the base of the tick. Uh, very nice and tidy clean with acetones. As usually for this type of work on the deck I use a polysulfide as a glue because it's very easy to remove it without tearing off the gel coat and at the same time is resistant to UV rays. Normally for my work on the deck I don't use uh, devil glue like 3M 5200 because it's very strong and if you need to take out you destroy your deck. I need to choose the perfect match of the vein of the tick and orientate it to the same vein of the base. So I have a three or four plug to choose and I will choose the better one. Okay, it's time to use some epoxy. I will use epoxy on inside the, the hole, on the wall of the hole, both of two. And after that I will spread the resin on the tick plug and I will insert with the hammer. Okay guys, tomorrow the epoxy is cured, we cut the head of the plug and we start to finish to install all this one. I like very well this piece of stuff because you can inclinate, you can put in any position, it's very sturdy and could support about 3 kilos, so I'm very happy to get this uh, type of support and I spent a lot of time on the internet to find the correct solution and this is for me seems the very nice solution and I will be very happy uh, to show you how will be all this stuff. This one, this is the Vulcan 9, 
and the problem is that it's possible to touch here the glass but I will move like that I can move in front and I get five millimeters and more or less like that one and it will be great or little it's very sturdy and very strong and this is the completely space of the Vulcan 9 also a little bigger here is five millimeter bigger so I think this is correct I have not the plotter in the middle of the passage there is a lot of play with this one so I can put in any position I want and also move in this side like that and stopping and in this way my Vulcan 9 will be far away from the glass Hi guys, uh, in this part of the video you will see the making of the support of the gas bottle that I will install in the back of the boat inside the locker. But before you go while in the comment and write me that it is not absolutely safe to leave the cylinder inside the locker and the uh, American rule don't want this and uh, English rule don't want that, don't worry. I have no other space to, to leave the spare cylinder in my boat or I take inside uh, the cabin or I leave there. For this reason I made this support. I want to assure you that for sure I will put a gas sensor to evaluate the possible leak of the gas. One sensor will be in the stern locker and the other sensor will be in the deep bilge so don't worry don't worry and for sure i don't want to explode myself after all this effort to restore this boat so be relaxed in any case i have a lot of sensor and a lot of attention as normal vanni in his factory helped me a lot uh, this is stainless steel 316 uh, Francesco has made uh, the support for the gas bottle and you will see all the process to do this uh, small piece of uh, stuff it's time to thread the hole with this machine to get a very straight thread in one shot In one moment you get all the thread in one passes. Now Francesco will bend a 90 degrees the support after make all the stuff. And here we are. Francesco check the 90 degrees and now it's time to install the rubber gasket that avoid the rust go in the stern locker. Okay, now we check if the holes are correct for the uh, support where past the belt we test. Yes, perfect. It's time to go back to power plant and install it on the board. But before that 
we cut the excess of the bolts to get a very flat installation. We make the round corner of the stainless steel to avoid any uh, damage in your uh, legs when you go inside. This support is 316 stainless steel. It must make lighter with this machine. A part of the steel is removed, maintaining the resistance of the support but making it very light. The power of this machine is incredible. Take out 6 mm of stainless steel in one shot. Wow! The last two hammer blows to straighten the piece of steel. Guys, so we go inside the bow locker to install the support for the gas bottle. Just do it, beautiful. And now we install in this position the support for the gas bottle. And here is the final installation of the gas support. To avoid making further holes, I made sure to use the holes already present in the support of the refrigerator compressor. Before making a hole, I always think about seven times. I hope you like it. Here we are, the video is finished. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you like my video, please remember to leave a thumb up. And I'm waiting your comment right below. I'm very happy to reply to you personally and immediately. So guys, we see you in the next episode and thank you for watching. Ciao!